I, I am in the slow and tedious process of scrapping all of my bad cameras. So today we will have a look at some interesting details in uh, these ones. I uh, did start to take apart. It is a work in uh, progress, as you can see. Uh, there will be a follow-up video sometime with a uh, close look at any interesting uh, things on this, uh, all these uh, circuits because there is some uh, nice stuff. But today uh, we will have a quick look at uh, what we can find in, in these uh, cameras. Not to complete disassembly, but just what it looks like under the skin. So, uh, usually to uh, take apart uh, such a single lens reflex camera, the process is always the same. You start with the bottom plate that should easily come out. Then you remove more screws or you should be able uh, to remove the uh, top piece eventually with uh, disconnecting or cutting wires and with even more screws you will be able to remove the uh, front skin and eventually in the way you will find the opportunity to uh, remove the back cover so here for this first one is uh, Pentax SFX. You can see uh, quite an unusual thing with the location of the LCD display here above the uh, viewfinder actually with on this LCD uh, some uh, uh, signs uh, already uh, permanently uh, displayed. It is quite interesting. So you can see this one is really uh, full of electronics uh, everywhere. Big uh, flash uh, capacitor here with a little coil above it as always. On the bottom more electronics with two main uh, processor chips it seems. Mix of uh, uh, flex circuit board, rigid circuit board, green one, and brown one I believe here at the bottom. And what else? A uh, super capacitor. Here it seems to restore some uh, information, probably the number of frames on your settings if you replace the batteries. And in this one, the uh, flex to flex connections are made with this kind of uh, pressure plates that will press together two pieces of uh, flex circuit. Uh, do I have an example? Yes, like here in fact, you will press together two pieces with a metal plate. In, uh, sometimes it is solder bridges, which is a lot more annoying for repair, obviously. Okay, so in here, what do we have else? Yes, a number of uh, circuit boards really everywhere. Here you have the uh, sliding contacts for the uh, top uh, buttons. Flash uh, uh, socket here, not the usual spot. Usually it is above the prism. And above the prism here, two little uh, rigid circuit boards. This one has uh, what seems to be almost a power supply. There is a transformer, diode and such. I do not know if it is flash related or something. And here, interestingly enough, this was going to the flash, I believe. A nice uh, shielded copper box. So this might be the high voltage transformer for the flash. Not sure, but it is really not usual to find a copper shielding like this in a camera. Lots more shielding here everywhere. And what else? Uh, it must be almost everything for this one. So uh, usually the next steps to disassemble these cameras is to remove uh, any uh, 
button pieces, remove and disconnect all what you can in the electronics, and you will find uh, screws that is attach uh, attaching the uh, mirror box to the back piece. And when you remove the mirror box, it will allow you uh, to remove the mirror, obviously, and access the shutter assembly. As you can see, I have already a few of them. Okay, so it was the first one, Pentax SFX. There is still some good stuff to retrieve in this cover. Maybe guys who do gold recovery will like to keep this uh, wiper contacts. But it is not what I do on this channel. I can throw away plastic parts, a little piezo buzzer here in the cover, and it is all for this one. Uh, next one, let's take this one, the Nikon F401X. So I did already undo the screws and so on. So this one has a particularity, it is powered with uh, regular uh, double A cells, four of them, behind a cover like this, not very usual. So you can see there is a big empty spot in here for the batteries. The remaining uh, space in the grip is used as uh, very uh, commonly for the flash capacitor. You can see it was the same one, in same thing in this one. Uh, quite serious uh, metal plate here, mix of uh, rigid and flat flex circuits. Uh, all the gears here. On the side here, the flash circuit board, it seems. And if I remove the top, a lot more of a lot of electronics with big uh, ICs. It is very often you will find a folded. Uh, piece of flat flex above the prism assembly. Nice uh, design of uh, contact pads here for the uh, top rotary selectors, which are uh, secured by, uh, yes, you have to press this, and then you can turn, and there is this little copper spring, quite interesting, little bit of a flat flex for the flash socket and here uh, push button for the timer with a cheap brown uh, circuit board and uh, obviously a rubber uh, carbon rubber contact thing. Uh, ah, the front is coming off, you can see a lot uh, more electronics, big uh, shielding again and more ACs here at the back. But this one, more rigid circuit boards here, and uh, this is your main uh, business shutter button. Uh, regular LED, 3mm LED here for the uh, safe timer, probably, here. And also, you can see here, above the viewfinder, this is the uh, one of the light sensors to measure the amount of light you have, you will have for your photo. Contacts for the uh, uh, lens here. And if the camera is uh, autofocus, you have a device at the bottom here, that is actually uh, the autofocus sensor. And that looks like do I have one? I have some like this. It is some kind of a little CCD setup with a prism or mirrors that will see if your picture is in focus or not. And here in this one again, mixed of plastic and metal for the body. You can see. This is a glass fiber reinforced plastic, I believe, with aluminium insert here for the film plane. Your golden DX, code, DX excuse me, coding contacts. 
and front piece is uh, some kind of a die cast metal and this one it is the same a brass piece here for a button I did remove so you find uh, little amounts of brass and copper in, the, and copper in these cameras and nice uh, gold padded contacts everywhere ok but uh, as you can guess uh, taking uh, all of this apart is uh, quite tedious and it is actually uh, damaging my screwdriver because it is a lot of screws to undo uh, next one so here on the top we did already see this goes to the trash this so uh, next one ah, Minolta 5000 uh, it is a customer camera uh, variation of the more uh, expensive Minolta 7000 with a few less feature features so here the bottom plate is already missing you can see the same kind of construction metal plate securing the back and the front together flat flex uh, some kind of what seems to be a DC to DC converter on a rigid board contacts here to the batteries that were in the grip and if I remove the top not much here in the top piece as you can see but there is an interesting detail so I can remove also the front I believe I am not sure if I did already unscrew the front on this one uh, maybe not uh, it is secured by the the front is secured by the lance mount so before I undo it uh, interesting detail look at this it is I believe the first time I see this in a single lens reflex camera usually for uh, winding the film and you have only one motor located in this spool here so you have uh, usually a set of gears at the bottom most of the time that is going all the way to the other side to rewind your film but here they did do it above the viewfinder actually you have a whole set of gears coming and passing above your viewfinder quite uh, unusual shielding here for the light sensor electronics above the prism assembly with what seems to be a budge added uh, rigid circuit board lots of wires in every possible direction and every possible color this is uh, what seems to be a LED display that will display information inside your viewfinder Usually they are located on the side, but here there is something at this location, not uh, usual. It will be interesting to look at it uh, eventually. So what I will do for you, I will try to remove this front piece that seems to be attached with uh, lance mount. And by the way, usually this lance mount is uh, brass oops you see it is sometimes difficult to find the correct screwdriver size and so I hope it will come yes it seems to be good So here it is a six screws job. You can find anything from six to six or eight, uh, three to eight screws, I believe, in last month. Most of the time it is four. <coughs> and they can be very, very tight. Okay. So quite heavy piece and the uh, pressure spring here to secure the lance in, piece in place. And the uh, 
Aperture, ring, following, device, et j'appuie la tuer de somewhere. Euh, Potentiomètre, I believe. And it should come off this thing. I have no idea. Interesting. I was expecting to be able to undo it, but as you can see, this one is weird because there is no other screw, obvious screws I can see. Maybe this one here. No, it is loose already. Interesting. So I will need to investigate on this one because really it does not want to come. Quite surprising. I cannot create. Oh, maybe this did come and here. No, sometimes you have screws in the film compartment attaching the front. It happens. But here I do not see any oh. glue. Okay. Simply glue. So it should be the same thing on this side. Yes. And, well, technically the glue, uh, sticky tape, double sided tape. And now I have a screws. So on other cameras, some, most of the time you have the skin you can peel on the front and that will reveal screws. And here you have oops, a little flat flex connected with solder bridge and you can see more electronics. Okay, so uh, we are left with one more camera to have a look at the Canon EOS R650. It seems to be an impressive camera, but it is worth one euro on eBay. So I did already undo stuff on the side here, on the back. You can see contacts here for your optional data back. So this one has an uh, interesting battery compartment, quite big at the bottom. And uh, on this one you have first to remove the front piece. It is not a very easy one. You can see already a lot of electronics. Uh, motor located at a weird spot here, it is not uh, usual. Then bottom is mostly occupied by the space for the batteries. Serious diecast uh, thread for the uh, tripod and some kind of uh, DC to DC power converter made by uh, the Japanese LAPS brand with total on caps and brown PCB on the front a big uh, flat flex here with probably test pads here as you can see or programming pads something like this and if I undo the top I did obviously already cut some wires little PCB for the flash little buzzer and a lot more uh, circuit boards flat flex and here you can see they did use the solder bridge because I believe it is cheaper in uh, high volume productions but not uh, helpful for repairs obviously and for teardowns also. Okay. And here it is really crowded in here you cannot find uh, the way easily to undo the front piece. So this one will be fun to take apart, I believe. So, uh, here we are for them. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, camera teardowns, sadly, because I have a few of them to do, but in the same time I am uh, checking eBay for interesting aircraft parts, so 
do not lose any up. There will be aircraft pass, Sometimes soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.